In our state, we have 150 senior support living facilities and 8,000 seniors in the same boat. These are not people who are welfare cheats. They are not people who are ready to go to work if they're prodded a little bit. Their working years are behind them. I would dare say in every state represented here, Nebraska, Iowa, Arkansas, Kansas, they have similar facilities. Senator Duckworth and I are very concerned about this. Can you give us an assurance that at the end of 18 months you won't cut off this community benefit for these elderly people? Well, can I assure you, Senator, that I'd like to learn more about that. Obviously, the anecdote that you recalled regarding the nuns certainly sounds reasonable. They're eligible. What I've understood and have been told regarding this, that there are for-profit areas, uh, homes, and the support living of which they charge a fee for people to live there, and then they collect those who are eligible on SNAP benefits and then put that to, uh, to their revenue in the home for the benefit of everyone. So I'm certainly willing to look and to uh, consider those types of things as an as example that you gave to make sure that we can parse that out for those that we think are deserving in that way rather than a for-profit enterprise taking SNAP benefits from the uh, taxpayer and applying it to their overall uh, revenue. In the year 2016, the Department of Agriculture did a survey of all of these facilities, so they certainly are not hiding anything. Uh, and if there are people who abuse it, put an end to it. But when it comes to seniors and support living facilities, many of whom are facing illness, disability, mental illness, and, and the like, I hope that we won't be treating them as if they're somehow cheating their government. Certainly, as, uh, as we learn more about that, as I indicated, uh, my information was that these were the providers of which I think the state law in Illinois requires that food be provided in that fee that they're being charged to live there. So unless they're giving them credit for the SNAP benefits, we think, again, the issue is on the uh, purveyors of that service, if the fee by Illinois law has to do with the food be included in that fee, then I'm happy to talk with you further about that and make sure those who are worthy uh, are achieve that. Let's do that. Illinois is proud to be the largest uh, agricultural producer of soybeans in the United States. Since President Trump took office, uh, the price of a bushel of soybeans has gone down $1. We believe that the trade policy of the administration uh, could threaten the progress we've made in establishing customers around the world. <clears throat> I hear that from my soybean growers all the time. What would you tell them? Tell them that they are in the long-term game. They are obviously understand the volatility of prices. Uh, many people like to attribute a cause and effect over trade. Certainly the market facilitation program supported what we were able to determine and calculate to be the trade disruption damage for those soybean producers. We hope that the purchases that China just announced can be more, and uh, hopefully we can have a resolution of the trade where we think their prices uh, will be better. My last question, uh, I, and I see my time is up here, and I want to be careful since I'm a newcomer here. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about immigration. Yeah. Workers, migrant workers and undocumented workers are critical to the survival of American agriculture. If we are declaring war on immigrants, war on undocumented immigrants, we've got some questions that need to be answered when it comes to dairy operations and fruits and vegetables. We produced a bill six years ago that was approved by both the Farm Bureau and the Farm Workers Union, United Farm Workers, to deal with this issue. Are you willing to suggest to our president that we need an immigration reform bill to deal with this issue? Absolutely, and, and the president understands we need a legal uh, work, agricultural workforce. It's probably the number two issue I hear behind trade everywhere I go, and I look forward to working with both sides and the administration to uh, achieve a comprehensive immigration bill that satisfies the need for agricultural workers. We know that the majority of our agricultural workers are foreign-born now, and uh, some legal, some illegal, uh, from an immigration perspective, and we need to help. Thank you.